Hey guys, Sean here. In this video, we're going to show you how to make this burn transition inside of Premiere Pro. So this is not using any um, like burn stock footage. It's all basically built inside of Premiere Pro. So you can alter and change the look of it to anything you want, even the burn color. Here we have two clips already prepared. It's overlapping by one second or 25 frames here. And we're going to basically uh, yeah, cut this clip here first. And now we're going to add a black video on top. So we have here already one made. So to make a black video, we'll go to the new item icon here, select it and then uh, choose black video and then press OK. So drag this black video on top of here, make it as short as the clip under it. And we're going to grab some effects. So inside of the effects, I have a effects quick list where I basically copy most of my most used effects. So I have this, uh, this are all the ones that I often use and drag the circle onto the black video, go to effects control. We're going to change the scale here on top already to 120 and we're going to change the radius here to zero and hit the stopwatch next to radius and move this keyframe to the start and we're going to move this radius all the way up until it fills the entire screen like this and move this to the end I'm gonna right mouse click onto the first keyframe and change it to bezier so now when we play this we have this going on so quite a yeah not really a transition but this is what we want to have for now go to effects and we are going to add turbulence displays and that we add over here. We can actually also do it like this with this wobbly look instead of that overly burnt look. But I personally like the burnt look more. So we go to effects control and then select here. I'm going to change a few parameters here of the turbulent displays. I'm going to change the size to 40 and change the amount to 300 and change the complexity to 10. So now when we look at it, we have this ink like effect. So ink seeping effect. And that's basically what we want to have for now. And gonna hold down alt and copy this black video to a layer above it. So I have like an extra copy on top. We're gonna hit this eye icon to the bottom black video so we don't uh, see that one and select the top black video. Now we are going to do some changes here. We're going to change the color here to a yellow. So we have like a bright yellow burn and we're going to change also at the edge, change this to thickness and radius and change the thickness to three. And now if we look at it, we have that burning edge going on however this for me I feel like it's a little bit too sharp for the look I want so we're going to go to effects and we're going to drag in Gaussian blur so now with Gaussian blur edit we change or add five hmm, actually let's have it at 10 blurriness and that for me looks like enough of a blur now we're going to hit the eye icon so we reveal what's on the bottom. So this already looks like a cool burning effect going on. So now to get that actual transition effect. So go to effects again and now we are going to drag on track mat key onto the video clip here. Now I'm going to go back to effects control and at track mat key we're going to hit reverse here and choose the mat and the mat is on video number three. Now if we actually hit enter to do a quick pre-render because this is a little bit heavy with so many effects going on and this is the final result. So we can actually change the color of this. So depending if you don't like it having like a yellow burn, you can change it to another bright color. So I do uh, suggest to keep it a bright color. Any of the darker colors doesn't look that good. So uh, for example, if I change this to like a more bright blue turquoise here, 
that would still looks okay however if we do a black over here so it doesn't really mm, it yeah it's okay but it doesn't really look like a burn effect so because everything was done inside of premiere pro without having like a stock burn effect this makes it possible to do all kinds of alterations to the parameters so it changes to the style that you want and actually every time have a different look when you make it. So that was mainly it. Hope you guys found this a very useful tutorial. If you really like this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button here below. Thank you guys for watching and love you all and see you out.